Hi guys, welcome to another episode. So in this episode, we are going to solve some utility maximization problems with some specific utility functions. So the first example I have is the Cope Douglas standard Cope Douglas utility function, u of x, y is equal to x to the power alpha times y to the power beta, where alpha and beta are some numbers less than one and, and positive. And then the price of good x is px, price of good y is py, and the income is i. So the question is, what is the optimal uh, consumption of good x and consumption of good y? Or just, you know, what is the optimal x and y? All right, so let's state the optimization problem. Maximize utility by choosing X and Y in R plus, subject to the budget constraint, PX times X plus PY times Y is equal to income. So this is an increasing utility function, meaning a higher X and, and or higher Y is going to increase the utility, all right? By just looking at it, you can see it because there's no negative sign, all right? Um, or nothing is divided by x or y. So therefore, uh, the budget constraint has to be satisf satisfied with inequal uh, equality. Sorry. So I'm going to solve this in two ways. All right. Uh, you can one way is just write basically marginal rate of substitution equals price ratio. In this case, price of good one and price of good two, right? Px, py, but minus. Don't forget that. You can just simply solve it by solving this equality. All right. And on top of that, obviously, using px, x plus py, y, which is equal to income. So you must have, because you have two unknowns, you must have two equations, right? Or you can use a sort of, a, you can go with a longer version. Uh, you can just write the Lagrangian and take the first order conditions and solve them. But trust me, you're going to end up to the same point here. So therefore, by doing, by not doing this, you're going to save some time because, you know, writing Lagrangian is going to uh, cost some time. And then finally, I am actually going to solve this maximization problem by what we call substitution method. Substitution uh, method, uh, which we sort of uh, briefly discussed in uh, math review. All right, so let's... Uh, solve the Lagrangian because I'm not going to do it as I told you as, as when we solve the Lagrangian uh, problem we will automatically solve that two equations anyhow. So the Lagrangian uh, has three parameters x, y and lambda and basically it's the utility function the objective function x to the power alpha y beta uh, minus lambda time the constraint so px x plus pyy minus income all right that's it so what are the first order conditions well del l del x which is equal to when you take the derivative with respect to x it's going to be alpha times x to the power alpha minus one y to the power beta minus the partial derivative with respect to x is nothing but lambda px so it has to be zero all right uh, the Lagrangian, the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to y is beta x to the alpha y to the power beta minus 1 minus lambda times py equals 0. And finally, the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to lambda is just this term. So it's uh, minus pxx plus pyy minus income equals 0. Very well, I'm going to solve these three equations. So, <clears throat> um, first off, let's start with uh, the third one. The third one is going to give me this, pxx plus pyy equals income. Well, this is nothing but the budget constraint, right? So, I'm going to denote this as 1 because I'm going to refer it later. And then the first equation is, well, let's simplify it um, again. Uh, send the lambda px to the other side. So I have lambda px equals alpha x to the power alpha minus 1 y to the power beta. That's it. And then the second equation is going to give me lambda py equals beta x to the power alpha y to the power beta minus 1. All right. As simple as this. All right. So <clears throat> uh, let's call this equation two and this equation three. All right, so what else do I have? Well, let me open up some space here. 
So um, these three equations, three unknowns, you can solve them as you wish. All right. Um, so here's how I'm going to do. So I'm going to use the second. So second equation implies me that the lambda guy is actually equal to alpha x alpha minus 1 y beta divided by px, right? Yes. Well, then I'm going to plug this into the third equation. So the third equation is going to become this alpha x to the power alpha minus 1 y to the power beta divided by px times py right this is uh, lambda equals to um, the rest of the third equ equality x alpha y beta minus 1 all right good well what can i do well uh, first off i can definitely send px to the other side all right so how i'm going to do it instead of rewriting everything, I'm going to send the px to the other side. So this is times px, very well. So on this side, I have x to the power alpha minus one here, I have x to the power alpha. So remember x to the power alpha is x to the power, oops, sorry. It's equal to x to the power alpha minus one times x, right? So therefore x to the power, divide both sides by x to the power alpha minus one. All right, so that means this guy is going to cancel out with this guy and this guy is going to cancel out. Remember, it was x to the power alpha minus one times x was this one. So I'm going to have x only here. So that means this equality is going to become alpha y beta py equals beta x y p minus one px. Well, you know what I can, this is beta, I'm sorry. So I can do the same trick by dividing both sides by y to the power beta minus one. Okay, so these guys are gonna cancel out. This guy is gonna cancel out and I'm gonna have y only here. So that means I'm still working on equation two and three, right? I, I, I didn't use equation one yet. So this is gonna give me alpha times y py, oops, equals, um, beta times x px. All right. All right. Now it is time to use the first equation. But before that, this is what I'm going to do. So remember, um, we have this, so I'm going to divide both sides by alpha. So that means y py equals beta over alpha x px. Why do I do that? Well, I mean, I'm just plug this term in equation one. So equation one, if I plug this guy into equation one, what I have is px times x plus, instead of pyy, I'm gonna write this, beta over alpha uh, pxx equals income. All right, so um, I'm gonna multiply this term with alpha, this term with alpha, so the denominator alpha is gonna go away. So that means alpha, pxx plus beta pxx equals alpha income. So that means uh, I can take pxx parentheses alpha plus beta equals alpha income. So therefore my income, uh, I'm sorry, my x uh, is, well here remember x is a choice variable and everything y is also a choice variable. So therefore solving this problem means writing the choice variable as a function of uh, parameters that are already given to us. So what are the parameters given to us? They are px, py, the price of good x and y, income, and obviously the utility function, and so alpha and beta. So we are given those. So I need to write x as a function of those parameters. So therefore, that means I, I, I will leave x alone here and send everybody else to the other side by dividing both sides by px times alpha plus beta. So x has to be equal to alpha income divided by alpha plus beta times px. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to do it, uh, but you should keep continue because this is just one of the parameters. There's also the second one. How can I find the, 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 the value of y? Well, simple. Remember, y, p, y has to satisfy this. So whenever you see x, all right, um, you just plug this guy back here. So whenever you see x, 
you just put alpha i divided by alpha plus beta px and so divide both sides by py and then you're going to get y. Um, actually, um, if you do the math, you're going to find the following beta income divided by alpha plus beta py. It's uh, quite symmetric. All right, so the alpha is the coefficient, remember, of the x term. Beta was the coefficient of the y term. So therefore, this was alpha times income. Therefore, this should be beta times income. And the denominator alpha plus beta is the same, but it's divide x. To find x, it is divided by the price of good x. And here it has to be divided by the price of good y. All right, so I just use this symmetry. That's it. So this x, let's call them x star, y star. These are the guys who actually maximizes this utility function. So therefore, the solution to this problem, maximize this utility function subject to the constraint, uh, well, the solutions are this x star and y star.